Hello everyone and welcome back to another Minecraft update video. Today's snapshot is 18W09A and in this snapshot we got ourselves some fancy new underwater building blocks. You can see them in my hotbar right here. We have the yellow coral, the red coral, the purple, the pink and the blue coral and sad face dead coral. And that's because if these blocks are not touching water uh, they will turn into dead coral which is kind of sad. A cool little game mechanic though for building underwater and currently they don't actually generate in the world. Uh, you can only get these through the creative inventory so there's no way to get it in survival yet you just gotta put them in through here and as I said they don't generate in the world this is just something that I built myself however in this snapshot there are other things that are generating in the world which we will talk about in just a moment but anyway I wanted to just mess around with these blocks and see what they look like uh, underwater with some plants around them because to me these colors are a little bit too playful a little bit too bright they're not quite aquatic however they do have a certain charm about them so I just threw in a few of these and put down some um, some of these plants on top of it because you can in fact bone mill these blocks you can kind of bone mill I think any block underwater which is really cool and uh, let me show you the whole dead coral mechanic right here as well so if we place this block and it is not touching water so I'm going to surround it with other ones uh, it will turn into a dead coral as you can see right there it has gone grayscale now that might actually be a cool block to build with above water um, so harvesting these blocks from the ocean would be pretty cool if we just go up here though and place some down directly above water you're going to see they straight away turn into the dead coral if you put it on the side like here because it's touching water it gets to retain its color so behind my coral reefs we have some underwater ruins and you'll find two different types of these. We have the stony set of ruins that you see right here. There are also sandy sets of ruins and that's based on what type of ocean you're in. So currently we are in a deep frozen ocean. Now the deep or the regular ocean is irrelevant, they will spawn in both types, but it is the regular ocean and the colder ones in which you will find these stony ruins and in the lukewarm and warm oceans that's where you'll find the sandy ruins. Now you can find these as individual buildings or as a cluster like we have right here. As you can see there's about six or seven different little buildings uh, around a big thing in the middle here and that is that is quite a lot. We can also see that there are some uh, spruce wood planks down here as well as a couple of pieces of sand but the main thing that you'll notice is the magma block. So if you're in survival mode and you're swimming around on the surface you might go over the bubbles and get sucked all the way down which is not happening to me. Aha! But it is now because I'm swimming. So that is pretty cool but also in this area you will find some loot chests so these underwater ruins have chests in them and based on the type of ruin it will have a different type of reward. Now I think this is a loot chest for the larger type of reward. We've got an emerald in here and uh, a fishing rod. I think you're going to find a lot of fishing rods and I'm saying that because we have uh, a larger cluster of buildings here which I think makes the rewards in the chest uh, a little bit better. So there are a few more. We're going to go around and open all of them. Then we're going to go find a, a sandy one. Was there one in here? Yes, there was underneath the block. Another thing that you may notice about the chest is that it doesn't have the water around the outside. That block has been updated so it looks better underwater, which is very cool. Now the actual loot that they want to put into these chests hasn't been added yet. So what you're seeing at the moment is just a temporary loot table. You'll probably still get those items, but they're going to add um, some sort of treasure to this as well and I, I reckon that's going to be the trident and I also reckon that when they add dolphins what you'll be able to do is uh, ride the dolphins or the dolphins will take you to these locations to find the treasure right a mending fishing rod that is a pretty cool uh, reward to find especially if you want to use it in a fishing farm well another thing I needed to mention about these ruins is that they can be partially submerged so they can be above and below the water which is what this one is right here but it's literally right on the very surface so it looks really odd and it's all on its lonesome as well I don't see any others around here so I'll keep exploring but it was interesting to find one of those. So here is a sandy ruin we've got some polished stone blocks over here some of the sandstone there's the magma blocks again, sea lanterns will appear in here and this one is like that central thing that we saw a moment ago and then two extra structures just on the outside here, it looks like you can get some clay as well, does this one have a chest inside it? If you can't tell by the way I'm kind of struggling to control the movement of, uh, of my player here because it likes to switch between creative mode flying and swimming underwater which is a huge pain in the butt. Right and it doesn't appear like there's a chest in this one over here. 
So after flying around for 5 to 10 minutes, I was coming to the conclusion that these things are way too rare to enjoy because I was going over tons and tons of oceans. But as I came to a stop, I happened to be right above some. So it could be that they blend in really well with the uh, environment, which wouldn't surprise me at all. Um, this one's got some bricks inside of it, and I don't think I saw a chest in this one here. And then I noticed there was actually a couple of others in this area, which is why I'm thinking that maybe these just do a great job of blending in. So that one hasn't generated yet, because it's getting the loot from a loot table. Seem seeing a lot of wheat, aren't we, and a lot of fishing rods. That seems to be the theme with the loot from these things. And uh, anyway, I kind of wanted to mention just uh, a couple of other things. You can't find these using the locate command. Uh, that is not possible in this snapshot. And also the phantom mob has been slightly adjusted. So this terrifying mob will no longer spawn in the end dimension. Not really sure why they decided to change that. I thought it was quite fitting for that place. Uh, they will also now despawn during the daytime. So if I am to fly away and then fly back again, they may have despawned. I don't know how the despawning mechanic works. I just wanted to do a quick little test. But it's in Moyang's change logs. And there you go, they've despawned it. So perhaps their decision to make them despawn in the daytime is related to why they don't spawn in the end. Because you don't have daytime in the end. I don't know. Anyway, they are always taking feedback from the player base and changing the game as so, which I think is an awesome way to develop these snapshots. But that brings us to the end of this one. So if you've enjoyed it, um, then leave a like on the video. As always, thank you for support. It makes a big difference here on the channel. And make sure you subscribe if you want to keep up to date with all of the snapshotty stuff. So uh, thanks for watching this video, and I'll see you in the next one. Ciao for now. Bye-bye.